Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Lise here, Plan with Elise, and today I am back with another custom spread for my patrons. So today may be two videos, or two spreads, it may be one. I'm not entirely sure yet. It depends on how long we are here. So I have big happy planner vertical pages. These are outdated. So this is actually October last year. So I will need to redate it, but this patron wants a spread for October. And she wants a Halloween theme, so we are going to jump to this Wrong Wrong Hey Boo sticker book. This is such a fun sticker book. And I've actually already used it. I just didn't use it um, on camera because I used it for, <clears throat> excuse me, another Patreon spread um, last month. But last month I did not have a chance to get them all filmed. My hope, depending on the length of the videos... <laughs> is that this month I can get them all shared with you on camera. And sometimes that just means that there's longer videos and more than one um, in each. Actually, a decent amount of my patrons have big planners. And I feel like big planners take me longer to work with than uh, a classic size. So that's where some of these aren't going to end up being a little bit longer and some of them will be short and some will be combined and we're just all figuring it out. You know, in 2019, 2019, I think it was 2019. I don't remember any years anymore, but in 2019, when I applied for the Happy Planner Squad for the first time, um, or no, 2018, I don't, I don't remember. Let me back up. I have, when I applied for the Happy Planner Squad the first time, it was just a, it was just a paper, not paper, but like an online form where it said, um, what were the questions? Like, what's your planning style? You know, here, share some images of your planner, share some images of, you know, your lifestyle images. Whoops, that already ripped. Things like that. But um, the second time I applied, it was a 30 second video application. And really my like thing in my video application was, you know, I'm not a teacher. I'm not a mom. I'm not, you know, I'm just a girl trying to get my life together. And hopefully... <laughs> show others how to do the same. And that's like really how I feel here on my channel. I feel like I haven't quite strayed away from who I was when I first started planning to my core, right? My life has changed very much. In well, yeah, no, I'm not going to minimize that. My life has changed. I am no longer in debt. I'm a homeowner. Um, other than that, I don't know that my life has changed. You know, I was an aunt then. I'm an aunt now. I was single then. <laughs> single now. Actually, I wasn't single when I applied using the video application. But um, that, you know, we all know how that works out, right? If you've been here for a few minutes. So <laughs> um, anyway, we're just trying to, we're just trying to figure life out together. And I'm glad that you're here on the journey because sometimes it's a... Uh, <laughs> It's not, it's not smooth sailing. Sometimes it is. I feel like this, this, this little house sticker is cool. So we're going to put that there. But I feel like I have to cover this up because something else is going to end up going there too. So I think it has to go more towards the edge. Um, you know, I was talking. Oh, geez. I don't know that this is going to come up. Let's use undo. I was speaking to someone new, like someone I had met um, recently at the pool, like a a, woman, a local woman in town and kind of talking about all the social media stuff. And, you know, I was saying that one of the most special parts to me about all of this is that I feel like this isn't working. I may not have put enough down. I feel like everyone is invested because whether you've been here for a month, oof, a year, or three years that I've had my channel. The sticker does not want to come up. Okay, we're gonna give it a sec to dry. Um, we're all kind of part of it together, right? We, we're all here together. You're spending time of your, your precious time in your life with me. 
I'm sharing it all with you and we're just kind of invested <laughs> in each other, which is how I feel. Okay. I don't know that this is actually going to work the way that I'm thinking it would. Maybe if I shift it up a little bit higher to give it a little bit of space there. Unless it was supposed to go this way. I'm not really sure, but I'm going to leave it as is. Okay. I kind of just like, I also brought out the PET tape. Um, and because I didn't mention this yet, wrong, wrong from wrong, wrong. Oh wait, these aren't the right stickers. I pulled out the wrong stickers. Okay. Let me say this and then I'll find the right stickers. Um, you can save on your wrong, wrong order just by shopping at the link in the video description box that will give you an automatic 10% off of your order. All right. I found the right one. <laughs> so now we are good to continue. So I thought it would be fun to bring in these little go stickers on either side of this is Halloween. I love this new pet tape as compared to the old one because it is more of a matte finish and not as shiny. So that's really nice. All right, let's get to um, some functionality. So I mentioned that this spread was for Jess. Jess likes a functional spread. So I think we're going to start with, I kind of have this idea. I have these Mojo big black boxes and more. And what I wanted to do, I hope this works. I don't know if this is going to work. I was actually going to think that maybe I could put a double box here and a double box here. But if I do that, there's not going to be space for any other boxes. So I might not be able to actually do that. Okay, let's change the plan, right? I believe that these um, big sticker books are now available in individual sizes or individual colors. So, cause I was looking at Mojo's website the other day. So if this black one ends up being available um, individually, I will definitely link it. I also pulled out a pink one. I just thought that because I typically use classic size stickers in big size spreads. This time I wanted to kind of change it up a little bit. And this isn't a perfect pink match, but I think it's good enough. Oh wait, mm. this might not, this is almost too wide. That's the problem with the header box. Okay, change of plans. We're gonna back up and actually just go too many stickers on my desk. We're just gonna go plain black boxes and brighten it up with other stickers. So I'm gonna do a smaller classic size header box here, here, because we're gonna dress these up. It's not just gonna be super plain. I wouldn't mind it being super plain. <laughs> that's, that's, one of my favorite ways to decorate, but I know that not everybody, uh, everybody feels that way. So it's okay. This gives me an opportunity to have a little bit of fun. All right. And now of course, checklists, because I can't live without them. And unless someone requests that they not be included in their spread, then, uh, they're getting them too. Although I think when I did Jess's video last month, her video was the, um, pastel, spread, I did a little bit less because I did some more layering. So this time we're kind of going a little bit more conventional, but again, we're going to play around a little. The sticker book may also have boxes. I should, I, it should have boxes. So let's put the big boxes aside and jump back to the sticker book. The pet tape isn't going to have boxes. That's just decorative stickers, but let's look here and see. This is such a fun sticker book and there are so many stickers. Sometimes with planner sticker books, I feel like, oh, these would be cool. One, two, three. Well, there's two boxes. Okay, we've got an idea. We're gonna take the orange one, put that there. Okay, I was saying, um, sometimes with sticker books, I feel like there aren't enough boxes to do more than one spread. That's something that I struggle with but I feel like 
this one, I don't know about the boxes yet, but this one just has so many stickers in general um, that I'm not going to struggle at all. So, okay, let's, big black boxes and more. We're gonna put this down. Um, here we go. And I'll put something here to make these more fun. And then up here, it's all kind of coming together. We're going to put a checklist. I don't know what time it is, but I actually feel like this is coming together kind of quickly. Hmm. So this is an old planner. This is a July start planner. And I feel like maybe... There was a paper quality issue because the two stickers I've tried to pull up today have not come easily. And it shouldn't be that difficult, especially with that sticker, to pull it up after I've placed it down. All right, and then for Friday. I also cannot forget to redate this. I'm kind of debating because Jess just said October. She didn't say what week in October. So I may actually cover them up and then reach out to her and ask her what dates so that I can redate it for her or maybe she wants to leave it undated so that she can use it. I missed this. Try to reline that up properly. Oops, that's not gonna look quite right. All right, hopefully I can, I can fix it. Now I think it would look cool if I take these two sizes and go back up here with them. That'll kind of give me the effect that I originally wanted with the double boxes that I didn't get a chance to use. However, I'm not sure if there are any more of the tombstone style stickers, coffin style stickers. I was like, that's not tombstone. Tombstone or what I've renamed the uh, as window arch stickers in, <laughs> in my planner because I got sick of saying it tombstone every time I saw those stickers. So this one's gonna go up here. This one's gonna go over here. It's all working out. One thing that you will find on my channel, if you are new here, welcome, is a lot of structure. I like having similar things on each side of the pages. I like having a lot of structure. I like for it to make sense because when my planner isn't structured, it's not very helpful for me because my brain isn't structured. So I need my planner to be. That's the place that I can count on having structure and balance and focus. And it can get really confusing when it's not that way. Okay, please, please, please have another tombstone sticker. Ah, we do, yay. Okay, see, I spoke it into existence and it happened. Not tombstone, sorry. Coffin. I've never rooted for a coffin before, but we've got it. All right, let's ghoul girls. Should that go here? Let's see if we have one wider sticker. We already did this is Halloween. I think we're doing let's ghoul girls. So I'm covering up using my Uniball Signo white pen. And then we'll take Let's School Girls. Put that over here. And then we can bring in, this is a ghoul, right? Is a ghost a ghoul or are they the same thing? Although I feel like I don't like how that's pink on pink right there. So we'll find something else. I don't know if a ghoul and a ghost are the same thing. I don't know enough about <laughs> the things we find during Halloween. Um, we could do the bats. I was just wondering if they were too small. But I don't think so. I think we can do it that there. Pull that over here. 
this creepy spread. It's like a fun creepy spread, right? It's not too scary. I actually recently read a book that was the first book that's ever like full blown scared me to the point where I felt like I was watching a scary movie and had to put the book aside. Um, it's called Her Last Hour. I believe it was by Daniel Hurst. And it like really, I mean, parts of it really scared me. It wasn't the whole book that I was scared by, but parts of it like really did scare me. And I've never experienced that. And I read a lot of thriller books and I've never experienced that before. Um, and, and it, and it, it got me. Okay. We're going to play around with these boxes a little bit here because they're pretty big boxes. So I think that even if I kind of add some fun to them, Jess will still have plenty of space to write down things that are happening or her plans. So we're just adding a little bit of, a little bit of fun to them. I feel like I'm already through that tape I am okay so let's do this these pumpkins over here and then what did I do down here books so maybe maybe we grab that pink ghost because again I think this is a pretty big sticker that there should be enough space to still right. I covered up a, a, a little bit of it, but there should be enough. Okay. Let's find fun girl. It might be Wednesday if there's enough room. So one thing with the, uh, the PET tape is <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna take up a bit of the desk. So because we have this, oh, we already had the let's school girls. It's okay. Because we had we have a sidebar sticker with plenty of functionality. I don't feel like I need this bottom part to be fully functional. So I'm gonna go back to Miss Wednesday Adams and she's gonna hang out right down here, but I have to size it right. She's a little bit too tall for this space. So we're gonna cut her. I don't think she would mind. I feel like she knows. Okay. Finally, we need some bullet points. So because this is a spread that is going to Jess and I'm not, oh, I have to do the dates too. Back up. But what I was going to say was because this is a spread that's going to Jess and she doesn't need what's on the other side of it <clears throat> because she's just going to pop this into her planner, I will use the black zig clean color dot which I seldom use in my planner because it bleeds but um, I have no objection to using it for the spread. I'm trying to decide exactly how I wanted to handle the October part but I think it might be fun to just kind of cover it that way and then we're going to take my knife We'll do that and then I want to see if there's anywhere on the right side of the page that I can put this about just right here so that it's on both sides again balance in the spread balance in my life okay bullet points love this pen it's just that there's bleed, but when I go pretty light, it's not that bad. I'll show you. Although I'm not entirely sure that this is the same paper that is being used in current planners. I feel like this might be a little bit thinner. I don't know. There's been no official statement about it, but <laughs> it's kind of how I feel. Okay. You can, yeah. I feel like it's not this bad though when I've been using it lately in my planner. I think maybe only in my dashboard but we're just gonna still go light with the bullet points to not take away from the design of the spread. Okay, how freaking cute is this spread? I love it. I still need to redate it, but I have to ask Jess what dates she wants. So I think our timing is fine enough to do another one, but first I had to clean off my desk. 
Okay, my desk is cleared off and I am ready. I also, this is an und this is an outdated planner again because I need to change the dates. I feel like I need to thank Mother Nature for a second because today is the first day since, or the first Saturday since my pool, my town pool that I joined is closed. And all week it was like 90 degrees and really nice out. I mean, 90 degrees is kind of hot for the pool, but not. It's fine. You go in and you you pull off. Um, today is like 65 degrees, scattered thunderstorms. The weather is not a good day. And so I feel like I need to thank Mother Nature because if today was like 90 degrees and beautiful, I would be so bummed because I'd want to go to the pool and I just can't because it's closed. There's no option. So Okay, this spread is for um, Courtney, and Courtney wanted Live Love Posh Fall, and Courtney's planning style is very similar to mine, so we are going to go florals, boxes, and function. So I'm kind of toying between these two sets of sticker sheets. The florals are different, but the colors are similar, so I kind of think that I might be able to get away with using both of them together if I am mindful about alternating between the sheets. I don't think that it would be, oh wait, that's not going to work where I thought it was going to work. I thought it was going to work up here, but this way. Oh, it can. You know what? Why not? I feel like I always focus on this corner, but why not? Why not do it over here? Mm. Here's what I'm thinking. If I put this down, what am I going to do with the extra space on the box? Am I going to feel like I need to do something to fill it up? We're going to go for it because I'm not going to be scared of a planner. <laughs> I am going to be scared of putting a sticker down on Crooked. So we're going to try that again. <sighs> Sometimes I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. That's got a little, a little bendy. We're going to try this again. Let's get that part down and then kind of guide this. Okay. We got a little, we'll, we'll fix it. So Courtney's spread in August was using fruits and florals. Well, I don't know if I used fruit and floral stickers. I don't exactly remember, but it was like yellow and green and pink and it was really bright. Um, I think it was Happy Planner stickers that I used, not like Live Love Posh fruits and florals, but it was a really fun, bright spread and <clears throat> I, I enjoyed making it. I actually think it was the first one that I did, the first custom spread and I was so nervous. Um, and I'm not as nervous anymore, which feels nice. So I also pulled out Kelva Plan Rainbow Quotes because this sticker book doesn't have any quotes in it. And now this quote sticker book isn't themed necessarily, but it doesn't mean that we can't find stickers that are going to work. It's just going to be a matter of the colors. And that's actually what I was trying to figure out. I had a little bit of a delay <laughs> in between both of the videos because I was trying to figure out which stickers to use that I knew I would have coordinating um, boxes for because the stickers in the Live Love Posh fall book are beautiful. They're um, unique colors so it's going to be a little challenging I think as the season goes on to find the coordinating boxes but I did so we're gonna we're gonna look through it. I like this change takes courage. I just think that fall is a big season of change and um, I think that, that that works. So let's put this to the side for now. So I did grab neutral boxes by Mojo Jojo Plans because we have this lighter tan which works with that flower. And then I also grabbed big red boxes and more from Mojo Jojo Plans because we have this like kind of brick color, which isn't a perfect match, but I think it's going to give the vibes that we want. Although now I'm wondering, are these too big again? Am I jumping into the stickers are too big and I'd prefer the smaller red boxes? I'm kind of thinking I want to go to the smaller red boxes. So that's what we're going to do. 
All right, first up, let's grab one of these and then we're gonna go for a square brick. I love the, the sound of a sticker book. <laughs> so we'll put this here. Oh, I also brought out washi tape. I don't wanna forget to use the washi. I thought that this color washi was really pretty. Again, not a perfect match, but pretty and somewhat coordinating. So I want to use it. So I'm going to keep it right here so I don't forget. Now I want to replicate this same style on Wednesday. So we're going to grab one of each of those boxes. I got nervous. I thought I maybe didn't have enough, but I do. Okay. Now let's think about the washi tape for a second because this is a thicker washi, so I'd probably rip it, which is what I like to do, but I have to decide where it's going to go. So one thought I have, I'm gonna pause on that for a second. If I can move these down, give myself a little bit more space, I want to try to remember not to press so hard when I'm like flattening the sticker out because I think that when I don't flatten it out and now I am because I know it's going to stay here but when I'm more mindful about that it does become easier to lift so like I was watching um an EJ Joyful video recently and I know that she uses her like bone tool to really flatten a sticker down. I'm like, but what if you need to rip it up? Because once you flatten it like that, I feel like there's no going back. I mean, an undo, of course, could resolve it, but that's a, that's a commitment. I don't know if I'm ever ready to make that kind of commitment to a sticker. I was going to make a self-deprecating joke about not being able to commit to anything, but I don't know that that's the case. I mean, a house is a pretty big commitment, I think. I'm looking for my uh, washi cutting card, which typically I have next to me, but I don't see right now. So we're just gonna go for a ruler. Really any sturdy, firm thing could work. Thing that was so specific, right? Um, but as I glanced at my desk, the only other thing I had was my health insurance card, which I'm not gonna put here because why would I show my health insurance card on YouTube? So I need to locate my washi cutting card. This needs a little bit more of a rip. This is way too big of a tool for this, but we're gonna do it anyway because it's what I have right now in front of me. That's fine. Okay. That looks cute. I like it. Okay, now what I'm trying to decide is what kind of box I want to use for a header because I'm thinking in terms of bullet points, these are going to work really well. So I may want to go for a neutral style box for the header stickers. But if I do that, then I have like this right here and we've already got those colors. So maybe I alternate it. Okay. Now, down here it won't look bad because, again, it's alternated. So I know that we're going to do checklists here. So let's move this over. Let's grab my Lined It Up stencil. I actually ordered another pack of these during the Happy Planner free shipping sale because these were on sale and they were free shipping and I just feel like these are my absolute must have planning tool. So I got some more. There are certain supplies that I will always stock up on and this is definitely, definitely one of them. All right, let's get this dated. I'm gonna back up. I know I'm going a little all over the place but we are gonna get this dated. So. Courtney said I could do either the week of the 25th or the 18th. Um, 
This won't be mailed until Monday the 11th. I don't know if mail happens Monday on Patriot Day. And Courtney lives on the West Coast. So I'm not entirely confident that it's going to arrive in time for her to use it. And I don't want to risk it. So we are going for the 25th, the week of the 25th. And I'm just going to press these down hard. I know you can see the correction tape underneath, unfortunately, but I think it's okay. All right, 28. Come on. 29th. And then, of course, we need a September sticker. 30. It is a little funny. I don't know if you feel this way, if you plan your weeks ahead in terms of decorative planning. Reminder, there's only 30 days in September. Um, but I feel like because I'm about to go away in a few days, um, I'm working right now to make sure that my videos for the week of the 18th are scheduled, which means that the only week left in September will be this week, the week of the 25th. And it's so weird to think that September just started. But when I'm looking at my planner, I only have really like one more week to decorate. So it's a little, ah, okay. I still haven't decided what to do. I guess I need to put in a header box up here. I keep rambling and getting off track and I'm switching things around. I'm, I'm usually so good about having a very linear decorating style or process at least. And today I am all over, which is funny because I've only had half my coffee. I'm just energized. I'm excited. I love doing these custom spreads. And um, I'm so grateful that everyone who was in that tier in August continued to September. So that was really special. Okay. I think we may just do one box on Tuesday, but... I wanted to be mindful about bringing in both styles of stickers, right? So I think this might be an opportunity to bring in um, some floral stickers here. Well, this was what I used, right? But I want to pause. I don't know if we're ready for pumpkins yet. The pumpkins, I don't know that pumpkins belong in September. <laughs> um, so, and especially because Courtney's in California, definitely not quite ready for September yet. So what if we bring this in? Right here. We do like a little bit of overlap to the left side because why not? And then let's take this one. All right, and then we can take another neutral box. And maybe this time go for a square one. I don't know if we're gonna have room, but I wanna try. Okay. We're gonna lift these a little so we can do a tiny bit of layering. There we go. Again, a lot of neutral boxes happening there, which I kind of wanted to avoid. So one trick is to take other little stickers and kind of put them around so that it's helped separate the eye. It doesn't do it over here. And I feel like if I put this here, that's just going to be a lot. So I think we're going to leave it, but you can do that style so that there is a little bit of a color separation. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with the sidebar yet as per usual. So in the meantime, let's jump back to the right side. I think that instead of using the other sticker, cause there's two of this in the sticker book, part of me wants to go for this one and then bring in elements of this so that we're really like getting both sides. Now I've already used that big corner sticker and paper. I do typically prefer the big stickers and paper because they cover up more and I think they're a bit easier to put down, but I don't have a choice here. So we're going to go ahead and cover this line up. And I'm going to be really careful about getting this down on the corner properly. 
first time. You did it. Well, not yet. <laughs> Did it. Now I can say it. Now I can say I did it. That looks really pretty. Let's see how it all looks together. And I know the flowers are different, but I think we're going to we're going to make it work. So let's jump back over here. Um, I'm trying to decide what I want to do. I can put a checklist here. We can do a box here. I can do something floral down here. So what did I say checklist here? So Mapping this out verbally before I put anything down, the checklist here, helps me make sure that I'm not missing anything. But I used to do um, little pencil marks on the page where I planned on putting a checklist. And then I said I was gonna do a box here and something decorative here. So what if we take Rainbow quotes. Let's look for another quote. Strive for progress, not perfection. Treat people with kindness. I like the treat people with kindness sticker. So I kind of think what I want to do. No, do I, I like, I do like that sticker. I don't, I, okay, let me back up. I like this sticker. I don't like it for Courtney, and here's why. <clears throat> Courtney re already treats people with kindness. She doesn't need that reminder. I would want in her planner something that is a reminder to herself. So I like strive for progress, not perfection. That's where that oops, that's how I want what I want her planner's you know purpose to be. So this would technically fit right here, but I really want to bring in some more of that other floral. So I'm gonna take this small one, put it right over here and do strive for progress, not perfection. And I'm gonna take another sip of coffee. Not that I need it, I feel like I have so much energy. But sometimes for me, coffee, is also something to help her not prevent migraines but prevent the withdrawal from not having coffee that would cause a migraine <laughs> so I do not have time for a migraine this weekend I have way too much going on and way too much to do um, so let's just pray to migraine gods that <laughs> they will uh, know that I can't do it I can't do it I think that any day that I wake up without being in pain or any day that I get through without being in pain is a win. And anyone who experiences um, pain would, uh, would understand that. I almost said chronic pain and, you know, I feel like I'm no longer qualified to say that I have chronic pain because my migraine treatment has been working mostly for a while. I think it's been maybe a year that I've been getting my Botox treatments again, and it's really made a big impact. There are definitely months that are harder. Um, the stress of moving and buying the house was a big trigger for me. And, you know, when I'm tense and stressed out and my muscles are tight and my neck is tight, that tends to also be a really big problem for me. But Lately, things have been have been good. I've been a bit stressed and busy, but I think that exercise and using a neck massager regularly um, and being mindful of my limits, that's a big one for me. Being mindful of my limits because I may have a day where I feel like I have so much energy, I'm good to go. I can do anything and then I do too much and the next day I fully regret it because I can't function. So that's tough. Okay, what do I wanna do? I feel like I have so much space. Down here we need some function. So I'm gonna do a box down here to kind of match Tuesday. We're gonna do a checklist up here. So I, I'm gonna go to this, but 
because we already have that beige sticker right there, we're gonna pull in a little element like I was talking about here to separate them. And then let's get my stencil. Sometimes I get so wrapped up in talking that I forget like why we're here. We're here to plan. And now I'm thinking that this video is going to end up being very long. So hopefully you uh, sat back and relaxed. Okay, box. Um, I wanna come back to this style flower. I don't have a ton of it left. The thing is, okay, I felt like you couldn't see what I was doing. With these two sticker sheets, there aren't a ton of separate elements like these little ones for me to use. So I feel like if I put too much flower here, it's going to be so obvious that these are different. That's my fear here. That's not quite what I, what I considered. So maybe instead what we do is let's grab a square box and... kind of go the <clears throat> the opposite way. Like I know that technically this sticker is now upside down, but it's on the side there, so it's fine. This way it's there's a separation between the two styles of floral. And it maybe isn't as obvious. It's feeling a little bit so right now. But I think we're going to have to leave it be. That said, I now have this box. So I have to figure out what I want to do with it. I mean, I could bring in another quote. If I have a box here, I don't need one over here. So let's pause right here for a second. I'm going to lift this sticker up in case I want to make a change. And then we're going to go focus over here and then decide what's going to happen with Friday. So I'm going to take a brick red box here. I have to get a dash. I don't know why I can't do this. Okay. We're going to do one here. We're going to do a header here. And then a smaller beige header over here. Now, here, I want this same setup. So put this down a little bit lower. I hope I have another one of that size box. Is it the same color? That's not the same color. Ah. Uh oh. Is it? Can't tell. It's not. Okay. So, backing up, we're going to make one. trim about here. Yep, that's about the right size. That was a pretty good eyeball trim, I've got to say. And then we're going to cut the top of this off. Take my tweezers. And do our little sticker surgery. Oops, definitely was a crooked cut. Let's go this way. Nope, not there yet. It's like a game of operation. Okay, perfect. Well, as perfect as I'm going to get. So, still trying to figure out how I want to handle Friday. 
I usually don't hit a roadblock like that, but I think that because this time these stickers took up the whole top section, that's where I'm like, hmm, how do I replicate this on the right side? And then we'll put these in over here. And I know I still want to bring in washi tape too. Okay. Now that most of this is done, let's figure out how I want to handle this part. I still feel like I want a box here or I could do this again, but then what's going to happen with this? So I don't love how this is on the bottom and this one's on the top. So I think I want to keep this here. But again, we have this problem where it's the separation of two different styles of stickers. Unless I take something like this and put it here where it sort of looks like this sticker is part of it, that might work. I think that works. And then we can layer this over it. Wait, but I still don't know what I'm doing here. Ugh. Quote. Let's look for a quote. <laughs> okay. Um... I like this, no matter how you feel, get up, show up, dress up, and never give up. But I also kind of feel like it's too similar in style to this. I'm kind of tempted to bring, oh no, these are about love. I mean, not that you can't have love in someone else's planner, but I don't know that they apply for this week. These are the colors that I'm, I'm gearing towards. Big things often have small beginnings. I like that. We're going to do that. Because Courtney is in a season of change in life right now. And big things often have small beginnings. Okay, so we're going to do this. Oh, you know what? I have an idea. Let's do something a little different. Because why not? We can. So, this would be a lot easier if I knew where my washi cutting card was. So, I think I need to... Ah, things are falling check one more spot no okay I'm just gonna have to find it after I finish this video um the problem is this did not cut cleanly so I'm thinking that we take this washi I feel like I was blaming a lot of my crooked stickerness on my nails being too, too long and now that my nails are short I have no one to blame but myself and of course I thought I lost my ruler it's here now I was thinking I was going to do this on both sides on both the top and bottom because I thought that would be fun so it's a little different but this is bugging me it's a little different, but it works. All right. The mess that I've made today, <laughs> trying to do both of these spreads. This is why I feel like I always write in my planner, stop it, washi, stay down. This is why I always write clean office. What I'm trying to do is get in the habit of as a video is uploading after I film it to um, put everything back where it belongs. But depending on the time crunch, it's not always possible. Okay. I like that. That's a good solution. See, sometimes we just have to like stick with it for a second and be a little bit, uh, a little bit patient. All right. But what I didn't do was the remainder of the torn pieces. Sorry, we are just making everyone busy today. So we can got one right here. Nope. This is why you need something smaller and not a ruler to do this with. And then this one I need to do too. So I like the rip effect. I think it works. Okay, now we have to figure out the sidebar. We already redated, so that's out of the way. So we're getting there. 
I think that on the sidebar, I want to do a quote and I want to do, hmm, there we go. Okay. This is pretty. I feel like there's a bit of emptiness happening here, which is bugging me because I don't want it to be there. So the only other thing I'm thinking is maybe take the other set of florals. I just am concerned about the difference in the florals. But I think we've embraced that already and I just have to go with it. I have to decide how I wanna do this. That'll work there. And then this box is gonna get lifted and layered. Lifted and layered. It sounds like a plastic surgery center. All right, I think that works. Left side, whew, <laughs> we are, we are getting there. Um, I liked these, like these quotes, okay. No matter how you feel, get up, show up, dress up, and never give up. I like it. We're going to use it. I mean, let's talk about this quote. Get up, show up, dress up, and never give up. Yes. Um, dress up for me, that is not, not always going to be the, uh, what happens. It might be just put on clothes and get to where I need to get. <laughs> because I feel like I don't often dress up. I do enjoy it. When I when I dress up, I feel good and I do enjoy it, but um it's not always going to be my focus. I kind of want to bring this sticker in and if I do that, I have to move the quote. So, uh, back to the the moving of things. Please don't rip. Please don't rip. Please don't rip. Okay. I think we just figured out today that when you beg your planner and you beg your stickers, they listen. I mean, definitely not always, but we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna pretend. We can put a sidebar sticker over here. I should also be able to bring in some florals to kind of map, balance this out. I am going to be careful about getting this lined up. The dot grid helps then we're going to go for this. And now we are going to take, we had this flower. It's a little too, hmm. I want to bring this in, but I feel like it's so big. So we're going to bring in a part of it. got a lot of the sticker down. Well, uh, maybe 60%. Oops. Add to the list. Clean my scissors. I hope we're still filming. Yes, we are. Oof. That worried me. I hadn't looked in a while. Okay. Got that down. Got this. Let's move everything to the side. I do not think I'm going to be adding in any bullets here. I think it would just take away from the spread. So like in the current week in my planner, I have these checklists, of course, because I always do. And instead of any type of bullet, I'm just checking them off as I go. So I think that that's good. The other reason that it sometimes helps doing this for a patron spread is if they don't necessarily have a bunch of things to write down and they maybe want to use this for journaling, that um, that's a good solution. So I love how this came out. I love how both of them came out. Let's look. These are so cute and like they're both me and they're both my style of planning, but they're also really different spreads and I'm obsessed. So I will link everything in the description from um, wrong, wrong. You don't need a discount code because my link discounts it automatically. Mojo Jojo plans and Jojo's pretty, not Jojo, Mojo Jojo plans and live love posh code Elise 10 will give you a discount. 
um, and I'll link everything that I used. So thank you for hanging out with me and your patience. I know this probably ended up being a long video. Um, I appreciate you watching and I hope we'll see you next time.